Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this video, we are going to see what is webhook. So you might have been seen webhook mentioned in your app setting. And sometimes you like wonder like, okay, how can I use or like, is this possible to use this one? So I will start with a simple example. So suppose you are going with your friend and after that you told to your friend like, okay, now you can go alone. But once you reach your home, please text me or call me. After that, what will happen? Your friend will go alone. And after some time, she will reach her home. And after that, she will call you or she will text you. And in meanwhile, you will get an alert message or maybe you will get call. So here, if you notice, the boy told to girl like whenever you reach the home please inform me so that is called a event so this event will be triggered when when the girl will be reach her home so generally it is a kind of webhook here we have given the command like whenever you reach please inform me trigger so here the boy is a kind of an application like your application and the girl is reaching her home right so girl is just thought like she is a third party and whenever she will reach her home she is triggering an event what event the boy already mentioned like you reach your home please send me the response the girl is sending response to where the boy's number so here the boy number is the URL or address that must be unique so any time if any event will be triggered that response have to be sent somewhere so in that scenario she is sending that response to number so let's move with one more example suppose you are having a paypal account in that paypal account someone is transferring the amount or like your friends are transferring but you need some response to your phone so what you can do you have to just go to their application and you can create some kind of event like whenever I will receive the payment as successful I need that response or the message alert to my phone so this is a kind of webhook here you have done setting to that application like okay if the payment will be success I need message to my number so your number is currently unique address so what will be like flow so flow just imagine like you are having an application okay in that application user can send mail okay in that application you have integrated with third party api so in that third party api what you have done you have done a setting like whenever any user will send any kind of mail that whole response like either success or fail you need to be sent to your api so my api like your app.com slash receive so whenever any user will send the email i need that whole response to my api okay so that might be like get or post whatever you want to do so definitely if you are going to trigger some kind of webhook for the whole response you need to create a post message so if you take the example of twilo so what will happen to the Twilo? Twilo will provide a number to you, right? And after that, any customer will send message to that number. After that, what will happen? In Twilo, you have done a webhook setting like, if I get any kind of message, I need whole message or payload to send to my app. So here, if you notice the red color, right? So if you got any kind of message from the user, it will send to your application. It is a kind of request for your API. After that, you can do some kind of operation. When the, your operation has been done, you are going to send response back to Twilo and Twilo will send back to the user. So here one webhook is generated. Whenever customer will send any message to that number, what will happen? Twilo will send that response to your app. So this whole scenario 
is creating one event and that event is triggering so generally we can say like webhooks are like one way that app can send automated messages or information to any other application so if you take the example of paypal so suppose you are having a accounting software and you need like okay whenever i will get any kind of money i need whole response to my application similarly like in twilio so generally we can transfer our information in two ways first way is like polling and another way is like webhook so mainly like simple dif common difference i'm going to say like polling is like you need sugar but you are knocking everyone door like do you have sugar do you have sugar in webhook what will happen webhook are like someone tossing a bag of sugar at your house whenever they buy something means whenever something will be happen okay it will trigger something so webhooks are automated messages sent from apps when something will be happen maybe that ma that contain a message or payload that must have to be sent to the unique url so in last example uh, your unique url or phone number if you can say like so i hope you understand